Good morning, everyone. Good afternoon for those that are in Africa, in Asia. You know, um, this is Cyril and Jiken again. I just have a word for you this morning. You know, if you do not translate the intent, the intent into action, the idea dies. Right? If you do not translate the intent into action, the idea dies. What does what does that mean? Um, most of the time, we work, we wake up and we have great ideas. We feel like we can move the world, right? We, we that that light bulb hit in our mind, and we're ready to take over. We're ready to write that book. We're ready to start that business. We're ready to, you know, create that corporation, a nonprofit, whatever we want to do out there. We're ready to apply for that great job, right? We're ready to apply for the college of our dreams, jump into the career that we've always wanted to do, you know. Then that little voice in our mind kicks in. Start telling you, no, you're not good enough. No, you don't have enough money. Oh, you don't have enough courage. Oh, you don't have enough friends. You don't know enough people to connect you. Oh, your vocabulary is not great enough. You're, you don't have the degree necessary for it. Oh, you're from a poor family. You know, you, know, you, know, you know that voice I'm talking about, right? That voice that always comes in your mind just to discourage you, right? That is a time for you to tell yourself, my calling is bigger than my struggles. My calling is bigger than my reality. It's a time when you start hearing that negative voice or the negative people around you trying to discourage you about taking that next step towards your purpose and taking that next step towards your success is a time for you to remind yourself, my calling is greater than my issues. My calling is greater than my struggles. My calling is greater than my family history, right? Because it's not genetic. Everybody has a unique calling, right? If you do not translate the intent into action, the idea dies. The moment that intention comes in, translate it into action call somebody that you know that will motivate you listen to a motivational speaker i do that every morning my first thing i do a 15 minutes in the morning i put les brown listen to him miles monroe tg jakes all those great speakers i listen to them every morning for 15 minutes before doing anything else it wakes me up like now <laughs> it's very early in the morning man i just got inspired to share this word with you translate the intent into action is very important because between the time you're thinking of, oh, should I or shouldn't I, 90% of chance is that you're going to give up on that idea. 90% of chance. Most people that did it didn't do it because they were complete. Most people that did it didn't do it because they were multimillionaire. You know, Amazon started in his garage, then he failed. His parents helped him with some money. Then now, what was he? He's the first trillionaire business entrepreneur in the world. So don't wait to be complete before you do what you have to do. Don't wait to be perfect before you do what you want to do. Come as you are in your entrepreneurship. Just do it. Come as you are in your success. You know, just start. Start somewhere. Don't try to be perfect. Do not try to be perfect. Because there's nothing as perfection. You know, practice makes better, not perfect. So the more you try, you fail a couple of times, you're going to stand up, dust yourself, keep on trying. The more you try, you fail a couple of times, dust yourself, you know? So it's important that you understand that if you don't translate the intent into action, the idea dies. But in between the time that the intent comes, and you translate it into action, a lot of negative ideas and negative voices will come in your mind that will make you not want to do it. How many people out there have that book that they're supposed to be writing in their head? How many people have, out there have that business that they're supposed to be putting out there in their mind? How many people have, out there have that story that is supposed to transform into a movie in their mind? How many people out there have that big university they're supposed to go to in their mind, the certificate, the diploma in their mind? It's time to take that out of your mind and translate it into action. It's time. If you do not translate your intent into action, the idea dies. Ask yourself, what's the worst thing that could happen? 
What's the worst thing that could happen? I will fail and that's it. I'm going to start all over again. What's the worst thing that could happen? So it's important that we understand that we have to translate our intent into action. Because in between the time you're thinking of that between the intent and action, you can give up. You don't want to give up. You don't want to give up. I could either watch it happen or be a, be a part of it. You could either watch it happen or be a part of it. Because the, the, main, the same, same time you're thinking about, about, of that idea, 10 other people are thinking of the same ideas. Who is the one that's going to take it forward? The same time you're thinking of that idea, 10 other people are thinking about the same idea. The same time you're thinking about that job, 10 other people are preparing to apply for the job. 10 other people are waking up in the morning and putting on their tie to go for the interview. The same time you're thinking about a university, 10 other young people are trying to apply for that same spot in that same college. Translate the intent into action. Stop keeping it in your mind. Write it down. Work with notepad. Work with notepad. Record it in your phone. If it's a song, sing it in a raw format. Record it in your phone. If it's a, it's a book idea, record it in your phone. We have these phones for a reason. Record it in your phone. Write it down in a notepad. I know most people don't write anymore, but record it in your phone. Type it in your note text in your phone or something. You know, just keep it somewhere physical and revisit it. If after a year you don't translate not intent into action, you have a bunch of ideas at the end of the year and you look stupid. You'll be like, wow, why didn't I do all this? Now is the time, my friend. My message for you this morning, translate your intention into action because you don't want to kill your idea. All right? This is me, Cyril. Peace.